What is up everybody, this is Dubus Tote, and today we're going to be taking a look at some silk cloth farming. For this we're going to be heading to the Scarlet Monastery, taking a look at both of the instances, showing you guys which one is better for farming. And they're both decent I guess you could say, but one is definitely better than the other, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So first I'm just going to round up all of them, don't bother like killing them all separately, just kill the little bone piles and it should pull all the mobs around it and you'll be good to go there. And also here I recommend um, going up all the way around doing like a horseshoe type thing and coming back down and killing them at the bottom. It makes it much faster in my opinion and it'll definitely help your uh, run time. But anyways I found this when I was leveling up my mage and I saw the prices of silk cloth and I'm like mother of god I have to make a video on silk cloth farming. <laughs> the prices for cloth on all servers is rather ridiculous. I think the average price across servers is like 30 gold or something. So uh, here we go, let's take a look at our gold totals. So from our trade goods, which is our cloth, our herbs, and anything else we acquired, we were able to get 192 gold and 14 silver. From our greens, we were able to get 915 gold and 8 silver. And the greens you'll be getting here are good transmog items. They may take a little bit longer to sell, but it's definitely worth it. Just keep posting them, eventually somebody will buy it. And from our trash items, we're able to get 2 gold and 58 silver, which really isn't too much. And then from our gold drop, we're able to get uh, less than 1 gold, but I just rounded it up to make myself feel good. So anyways, if you total that all together, you get 1,111 gold and 52 silver, which if you do your 5 runs, would get you 5,557 gold and 6 silver, which is insanely good based on how easy this instance is. So here we go, let's take a look at the armory side. Uh, the armory is on the right side, the graveyard which we just did is on the left when you are in the Scarlet Monastery. I should have distinguished that earlier but uh, gladly I remembered it now. But anyways, you're just going to be going through pulling it like you would any other instance, there's no tricks to it that I have found yet. Maybe somebody will uh, post a trick in the comment below. I hope so because in the last video somebody posted a comment that probably saved everybody a lot of time. Uh, but anyways, here we go finishing it up, picking up those little gold piles which are pretty significant for our cash drop. But anyways, here we go and take a look at our gold totals. From our trade goods, we're able to get 113 gold and 99 silver. From our greens, 328 gold and 96 silver. From our trash, 2 gold and 57 silver. And from our plain gold drop, 4 gold. That's a rounded up number. And like I mentioned before, those little gold piles on the ground each have about 1 gold in them. So it is a nice little boost. Anyways, if you add that all up, it gets you about 449 gold and 52 silver. And if you multiply that by 5 to get your runs per hour, you'd be able to get 2,247 gold and 6 silver, which is ridiculous for how easy this instance is. So if you would take those and add them all together, you would get 7,805 gold and 2 silver in just an hour, maybe less, depending on how quickly you can finish this, of farming this instance. Like I mentioned, this instance is extremely easy. You could probably do it at level 60, I, you know, it would be close. But go ahead and give it a try, let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> uh, but anyways, that is an insanely good amount of gold for such an easy instance and such little work. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know how it works for you in the comments below. So anyways, there are two videos up on the screen. On the left is my last video, which was a farming guide for the Magister's Terrace instance which was a very good video, people really liked it, so go ahead and give that a look. And on the right is my surprise video, as always, I'm not going to tell you what it is, because I am a major douche and I had to make you figure it out yourself. But anyways, on the bottom left is a link to subscribe to my channel, I post gold guides every Thursday, so if you want to see all of them, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video. And on the bottom right is a link to my playlist where you can see all of my WoW gold guides, uh, it'll take you all the way back to my oldest ones, which are pretty embarrassing to watch, but I put them in there just for the shits and giggles. But anyways, if you liked the video, make sure to give a like. If you didn't like, give it a dislike. It won't hurt my feelings. It just shows me I have some place to improve. And as always, this has been Dupus Tote, and see you guys later.